하나요? 박, 박수고. 아. 네. 아. 자 이렇게 주름 아. 하지 않겠습니다. 아. 아. <웃음> 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 I'm not even gonna try that. Real tone. As compared to fake tone. Globe pacer. 11 band. This is broken. I have to glue this back on if I find this radio radio worthy of keeping. Sure is heavy. I hope it doesn't have a bunch of um, rotten batteries in it. 18 transistors? Jeez, what do you need 18 transistors for? That's pretty heavy duty. So the Transoceanics had this, the Zeniths had this. When map is pulled to the maximum, recline it backwards. Thanks for the instructions. Why not just rip it out of the radio like I did? Ooh, look at that. And it's got a schematic in there, and the batteries. That is cool. Germanium flavored extravaganza. Well, that's a change from what we've been seeing lately. Uh, pretty nice. Okay, so look at how the output transistors are mounted to the transformer there. Um, lots of these big package germanium transistors, these guys right here. A lot of those. Or those 2SA72 or something like that. Wow, it's even, oh, 2SA70, it's got the transistor number on the board. How nice. 2SA-156. So why do we need 18 transistors? Wow, look at all the trimmer capacitors. A lot of 2SA-70s. Okay, so we got four in the output. That right there kind of seems like just adding transistors. We got two there, driver and preamp. What do we got here? We got, oh, so we got separate AM and FMIFs. We got three AM, FMIFs. That should look cool with the closed captioning decoder on. So we got FMRF, FM oscillator, mixer, whatever. Then we got three FMIFs. I don't see why this wouldn't just work. I mean, you could have some of these blue capacitors could be open. Uh, some of these 2S, 2SA-70s could be bad. We, you just don't know, but I don't see why this wouldn't not just work. Now, yeah, wait a second. Upon closer visual inspection, there's a crack there. There's a crack there. Um, what was this dropped? There's a crack there.
It looks like there's a missing transistor here, no? Okay, so that looks like that was 2SA241, which it would be the FMRF amp. Why would someone have pulled that out? Looks good, but it's truly a basket case. You know, every single component value is on this board for every part. See that? 220K, 680, every single component value. The capacitor component values are under the capacitors. Like you see there, that one says 4, and it's a .04 with a crack in it. Every single component value is on these. Let's power this up. God, that paint is painful. should be running a current meter on this FM long wave AM local DX or hi-fi what does DX have to do with hi-fi I hear something. What is rattling around in here? Okay, this is what fell out. I was hoping it'd be a transistor. So there's a external amp plug that if that was jacked up it would disconnect point A which is probably somewhere up here. Um, it would disconnect the radio from the audio amp and I see that it's time to stick something in there uh, I always enjoy sticking a screwdriver in my hole on a Sunday afternoon Well, we definitely have activity. The airplane confirms that. Okay, I just noticed this transistor is burning hot. Like thermal runaway burning hot right now. Germanium transistors have to be kept almost cold. They do not like heat. Um... Is this warm? This is a 500. Yes, it is slightly warm. 500 at 15. And I've noticed that in these radios that these capacitors actually do need to be reformed, if you can believe that. Um, that 500 is right there. So if that was leaky and it was pulling that B plus down through that 220 I don't think that would matter would it if that was low would that cause the bias to increase I don't know I'd have to look at this for a minute anyway the way to reform them is just to let them get a little warm and then but that's not the culprit of our dead radio because we got static from the volume control and we got noise when we stick the screwdriver in the hole here. Well, 
that was interesting. Looks like it's cranking right along about 200 milliamps and see it's going up as it gets hotter. See that? Oh yeah, thermal runaway. Now it's real easy to just say, oh well the transistors, the old germanium transistors are gone leaky and shorted, but honestly how many of these radios do you see me work on on this channel and how often do I replace these germanium transistors for doing what this is doing? So. Uh, we have to make sure that the biasing is right and that could be a capacitor, a crack solder joint, a resistor, uh, a leaky transistor, but we don't want to just say, oh, those are bad because I hardly ever see those um, power output germaniums bad. It's weird that one of them is getting hotter than the other, but they both are getting warm. Okay, pretty poison, catch me, I'm falling. Let's see, let's make this an endless loop. There we go. Uh, we have the phone isolated via a one microfarad capacitor. And I am going to power this on six volts versus nine. The current draw is still excessive. Now let's see if we get anything besides these airplanes, which are So like I said from the beginning, the audio amp is definitely working. We'll go up to 9 volts here. It's weird, it just like, the bias overcomes the ability of the audio to work uh, when you go up. Let's see what happens if we go to 3 volts. Yeah, it's working on 3 volts. The efficiency of this damn thing is almost like zero. I mean, it's, it, it's actually acting like a class A amplifier almost. I mean, it should... What it should do is it should be sitting down at about 20 milliamps and it should swing up to 180 on the peaks of the music. So yeah, we, we definitely got issues with the amp, but we also got an issue with the front end. Why is there no... Uh, this thing is plagued with problems. Well, someone else has been in here because this ground strap is cut off here. So oh, that's not a good thing. This one is still attached. All right, well, we know we're getting audio from point A, right, which is right here, through the amp, through the volume control, through this external amp connector. That's working, obviously, because where I was feeding it in was up here. So we know we're getting audio through here. Now there's a bias issue here apparently where one of these is leaky or something. I didn't see any cracks on the bottom of the board that got near any of the traces. Um, so probably the next thing we need to do is run, keep it on 6 volts and then feed a 455 signal in and, and start working our way back. I find it very interesting that this transistor is socketed and it's missing this is the fmrf amp of course that would not cause it to be quiet like it is uh, we've talked before about this transistor getting easily whacked when somebody with a static electricity charge on their hands um, touches the antenna and it whacks the transistor i'm not quite sure how that works because you would think that this um, uh, transformer right here would would isolate any kind of a DC static charge and drain it off to the chassis of the radio 
Uh, I don't know how it'd get through here, but maybe if you had a 50,000 watt uh, CB amplifier, it would cremate this transistor. But anyway, that's an issue. And yeah, we should have some activity, so I don't know, there's something else going on. Okay, I notice now on 6 volts we got static or hiss here. I don't know if you can hear that, but that totally goes away on 9 volts. So I kind of am surprised. Oh! Of course it's not going What station is this? I didn't know we had a sports station on FM. We got a blibli 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 station. Wow, so this is actually working good for being on 6 volts and not having an RF amp. And there was nothing on AM, huh? Who? The Mississippi Association of Realtors and the past chair of the Valuation Committee. Well, it's working. 90 degrees. We're looking for overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. It's 12:37. Five-day forecast at 12:45. Joe Davis here, big league sportscaster. Now we got the Blambulance in the background. That's why I recently... So, let's see, actually it seems like it's working now. Brilliant area. And then the blambulance makes the dog's ears hurt. I should just put like a high gain camera out and just do uh, five minutes of sounds of the city. Just the disgusting. On 800 PAVE 004 right now. That's 800 PAVE 004. Seriously, you wish you would have done it years ago. Call System Pavers. duty cycle it okay so I think we need to start by fixing the audio amp Bernie Sanders is head of the Senate Budget Committee he tells CNN that the two bills infrastructure bills in Congress must coexist these two bills the bipartisan infrastructure bill and the reconciliation bill are marching down the path together yeah. Mr. Manchin I know worked very hard on the bipartisan bill it would be a terrible thing for the American people if both of those bills fail. fail. No, it they wouldn't. Fail. They're going to go forward together. We don't the want that crap. Reconciliation package is a central part of the president. It gets rid of that, that screws crypto up and gets rid of Odyssey. YouTube's competition. September 11th, the Taliban is in control of Afghanistan. And funded ex-president Trump and other far-right candidates, but I thought they just didn't like the pandemic safety measures. That's just a cover for their real agenda. The wealthy recall donors want to take away our safety protections and voting rights and hijack our democracy as we've seen in other states they control. This recall is just a power grab. Wow. I'm voting no on the recall. Wow, I'm dumb. Back to our real tone. 
Globe Pacer Ultra High Fidelity 11 band transistor radio resurrection. Uh, I put this down so long ago I th almost forgot what I had diagnosed. I think we had a problem where one of the audio output transistors, I think there's four of them, uh, if you went over a certain voltage it would have current run away and then it would thermally run away and sort of like self-destruct or whatever. I wonder if this plate was here. I'll have to go back and look at the video. I um, really want to see this work. It's not in the best condition. So today what I want to do is I want to pull the audio output transistors out. Now contrary to what you would read on the internet about germanium audio output transistors going bad, I actually see very few of them fail. It's kind of rare. I almost see more RF and IF transistors fail than audio output. So what I thought I would do is I would dig up, um, what are these, 197 lamps, a couple of these, to current limit, uh, much in the same way you do with an old tube piece of equipment. And I was digging around in my light bulb collection and I found these grain of wheat lamps. I wonder how many is in here. So let's play with these for a little bit. Let's get sidetracked. I'm curious to... I got my lithium iron phosphate pack here, which is 3.3 volts per cell, so I could go 369. That looks like it's 6 volts at 90 milliamps. God, incandescent lamps are inefficient. This one looks like it's 9 volts at 75 milliamps. I'm just going by the brightness. This little itty bitty one is like 6 volts at peg the meter. God, these things are hideous. So I was looking at this and I uh, trying to refresh myself. And I noticed that there were three wires here and three wires going in here, but the blue one is terminated right there. I was thinking maybe there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe it uses a center tapped battery. And then I was looking at the schematic here and no, it does not use a center tap battery. So we have 70, about 70 milliamps. And the light bulb is on a little bit, so we are current limiting through the light bulb. But where'd our audio go? It was just had like KVAX going and then it devaxicated. Ventilation and filtration. These measures can really help prevent. The research is. Characteristics that are concerning might be resistant to vaccines, for example. Moderna has working on the morning the new variant. They're saying a vaccine could be available for this specific variant as early as next year. It's not clear if new formulas are needed or if current vaccinations will provide protection. The new variant appears to be more contagious and mutates more quickly. Any exceptions granted? If you if I bypass the light bulb. The order, then most likely you're going to be administratively separated or disciplined and separated by a disciplinary means. You'd be out of the military. Jeffrey Meeks is a former oh, lawyer. There are those who will file for religious exemptions. Okay, this one is getting very hot. This one is getting warm. I think the best way to go about diagnosing this thing, maybe not the best, but the fastest, is just to pull all four of these transistors out uh, because they are connected together. That's almost like a Darlington setup. That is a Darlington setup, right? That enhances the gain. So what I did is I marked them, I marked the emitters with yellow paint. Um, that way I could just take them out and put them back in. I marked with red and yellow paint. Um, kind of the lazy way, but so we take them out and test them with the component tester, M tester. This is the one that was getting hot. 
drawing all the current. This is the other one that was not getting so hot. This is back to the one that was getting hot. Look at the forward voltage. Look at how low it is. 81 millivolts. This is the driver off the side that was getting hot. 371 beta, 198 millivolts forward. Here's the driver off the other side. The beta is only 127 on this one. This one is a trip on diode check between emitter and collector. But watch this. Watch if I warm it up with my hands. I'm grabbing it with my fingers now. I just got it pinched in my fingers. Take my hand off of it. Look at this. That thing is clinky dinkler McMeany bleavy. Yeah, this one's the same way. It's got a little bit of leakage, which is normal from collector to emitter. But it's entirely too temperature sensitive. I'm considering whether to rebias this and change it to silicon, just for the fun. So to rebias this, you would have to... We have a variable here, this 2K. Uh, let's see, where am I? That's a variable. So this, these set up our bias, and this right here is a temperature thermistor, and this is a 100. So we'd have to probably, we, with silicon, we don't really need the thermistor. What we probably have to do is insert a potentiometer here, and you probably want to open that 100 up to maybe a 220 and then we'd have to play with these 560s so because you gotta get this up and you gotta use a scope um, and a signal generator to do it and what you do is the way I've done it before is you put pots here and then you look at the output on a scope and you adjust for a clean sine wave and best current uh, standby current lowest current I might do that let me think about this not that I don't have a billion germanium transistors they're just not it's just really hard to get matched germanium transistors with the transistors out, I am drawing uh, 23 milliamps, the light bulb is not on at all, and I'm tapped on to the second AMIF. So I'm on, I'm on 455 on the SDR, and I just have the... Uh, just honored. I, get I have the collector, the IF transistor, to me. I connected to the radio. Uh, kid, no uh, ground. And I'm, every, and, and I'm just going to tune the radio for here. For six years uh, for a su cuarto y que cuando tiene una preocupación un problema so yeah I'm just tuning the radio let's go to FM I'll, I'll clip onto the FM IF and we'll see I'll put that on 10.7 see I'm on 10.7 Got a little bit of something there, but I forgot that the RF amp is missing out of this transistor, out of this radio. So I'm going to try and stick this roll of wire in there. So I gotta stick this in here. Yeah, 
Así de fácil. La semana, este fin de semana pasado. So that's the front end of this radio working all the way up to the last IF. And then I'm just coming out of the last IF. And I'm listening to 10.7. Let me see. There you go. You can even see there's the, there's the stereo multiplex. And there's your date. Every new Toyota comes with peace of mind standard. That's because you get Toyota care, no cost maintenance. With So yeah, everything's working on this except the audio output and the RF amp. So I don't know what, so yeah, I just got an antenna going in in front of the RF amp. So we need an RF amp and audio output. So it's just What's up? I have a contact for a while. They don't have an owner. And they... Who knows what the new owner is going to do in regards to the coach, the offensive coordinator, the quarterback situation. You know as well as I do that when a new owner comes in, and, and the Chargers at least have been fortunate that, that they've had the same family in ownership for a long time now. But the Broncos, without... Hard to center that out. ...have just struggled, have suffered for 10 quarterbacks since Peyton Manning retired. And according to Joe Ellis... Air pain. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's what here. Um, so we got a four pin transistor and collector. The collector is. That one. Okay, on this one we got. 7.3 volts to ground. Okay, on this one we got 6.3 volts to ground. Okay, keep in mind this is PNP, so it goes emitter, base, collector, shield. So from the left, it, where the 2SA is, it goes emitter, base, collector, and then space, shield. That is an SK-3007. Geez, that's just it transmitting. Let's see how far away it'll go. One. Wow. I'm 50 feet from the radio. Seventy-five feet, a hundred feet from the radio. So just having that wire off the collector of the third IF transistor, FMIF transistor, it's transmitting a hundred feet to the SDR radio picking up on 10.7. I decided to go back with germaniums on this because I was thinking about the little IF test we did with the uh, the SDR radio where the AM seemed to be really weak and the FM went hundreds of feet uh, with just a wire on the collector of the third IF transistor. So what I've come up with is I've come up with these Russian germanium transistors. Isn't this a cool package? Look at this. This is a uh, GT, GT905. This is like a 3 amp 
a 70 volt transistor or something like that. PNP germanium. And what I came up with for the drivers, these are 2N2431. Um, and this is just a test. I was thinking about rebiasing this thing and going to NPN. Which the way you do that is you just install uh, a bunch of trim pots and watch the current and use a scope and a signal generator and kind of just dial it in for the lowest current, best sine wave over the, the, the kind of power band. But I'm going to try these germaniums first. Let's see how this radio actually works and sounds. Okay, I got my capacitors back on the bottom. I got our little light bulb here. I'm going to turn it on. I got the transistors in there. Let's see what happens, assuming I put everything together right. Got some Crackle Pony Master Play. No static. Really poor sensitivity on AM or it's quiet. Let's see FM. Boy, listen to that uh, AFC, how it snaps the stations. Put it all together? Um, there is a, there is a big difference. I'd added <laughs> Well, it needs some alignment, probably because that RF transistor has changed. Move your... God, that, yeah, that alignment's all, it needs way off. But that AFC is ridiculous. Never asked for nothing better than this. Never seen before. I need a, I need a milliamp meter. I need to see what our milliamps is without the light bulb, because the light bulb's taking up several volts. Yeah, we've still got a problem here. That'll burn those, uh, that'll burn those transistors up in a hurry. I went down to six volts here and I'm at 50 milliamps. This one is getting warm. This one's getting warm, this one is not. I'm gonna try and adjust this bias pot and see if I can move this down a little bit. Oh yeah. Really should be doing this with a scope and a sine wave generator, but... So I think I was at 25 milliamps at 9 volts, so let's go back up to 9 volts. Still way too high. Okay, I turned it all the way down and it starts to sound distorted, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit here. I got to keep talking because Frankie, old blue eyes, will get us a content ID and if I talk over it, that's all the way down. So we'll bias them about 10 milliamps maybe. I got a gurgon gurgle marvel airville blur. Okay, we'll set it about right there. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any distortion at minimum volume.
this thing can drive some power. a serious question though were you sad hitting submit paying your bills today because same <laughs> Okay, this volume control has to go. I'm, I'm done with this. Okay, vax. All vax, all the time. So, FM is super, st oh, I got the volume control sprayed here. You gotta spray it where the wires go in and it, no more, no more crunchy. Good question, an important question, and, and we did struggle with that, but we wanted to see if we could bide time temporarily. So I do hope that this gets sorted out and lifted before it has any significant impact on your country. Go ahead. 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 Go ah
get vaccinated, wear masks in those congregate indoor settings. He was asked the question, well, what does fully vaccinated really mean anymore? Because we've got the boosters out there, and Dr. Fauci is encouraging anyone eligible to get a booster. He said, well, fully vaccinated is still considered two shots if you got the, you know, the Pfizer or Moderna. Or 25 shots. shots. But that could change. So, uh, this is a short wave, and it's way off, too. Maybe it's the pointer that's off. Even though the pointer looks like it's glued, maybe this almost looks like fishing line. Maybe it's stretched in a way to where, I don't know. But anyway, I'm on uh, 9 to 12. Well, he's like to torture people with that. I was saying that the United States government has assaulted, battered, and battered the American public with their murderous policies. Um, the truth being that the FDA knew about the side effects. the sensitivity when that doesn't work that kills the sensitivity There's another problem here, which is on, on the AM broadcast band, KNX is coming in all over the place. This is the feeling you get. Portfolio. RFA utilizes investment strategies. Focus on infectious diseases. But infectious disease mortalities from infectious diseases really came close to disappearing in the 20th century. And as a result of that, CDC and NIAID were on the shopping block during the Ranger offers supplies and supplies. <laughs> Unbelievable. We live in the craziest of times. I had to do a fight with Geraldo about that last night. If I, vaccine mandates. I'm like, yeah, Geraldo, I got the vaccine. Okay, yeah, I, I got COVID. It was a particularly vicious case. He was like, ugh. Uh, Actually, uh. we think it's a week. Maybe feel pain. <laughs> then all of a sudden, you, you realize, okay, that is a human being. And, and then there's other players. That's what they do. That's it. Do doing left. This is on Which is crashed. Just to do Boulevard. In New York. In Laurel, Maryland, Jenny in Palm Beach. Ya escuchó a Naiseb que la limpieza dental puede también prevenir algunos problemas bucales en el futuro. 
Amigos, no hagan desidia. Vaya a California Dental Group y hágase una limpieza. Ya sabe la cosa. Shut down the entire country because a person has mild symptoms in San Francisco. Just close it all down. Just shut it all down. Turn the power grid off. We don't need that. That just that'll make sure nobody goes out. I adjusted uh, these two capacitors right here and I got the tracking much closer. It's a resurrection. Yeah, I got it a lot better. By the way, here's Channel 6. It is still on the air without the television signal, so it's just an FM radio station now. I don't know how they did that. Sounds pretty good. The current draw is creeping up a little bit, I think. You know, that bias pot has so much range, I almost wonder if you just drop um, uh, silicon transistors in here, if it would just work. If you could crank the bias up high enough without changing anything. So just to add an element of confusion into this whole airplane, I put the original transistors back in. Because what I didn't do before taking them out was turn that bias pot down and I was wondering if maybe someone went screwdriver happy in this and there was no problem with it and I, I turned the bias down it actually seems to work better with the original transistors but this one still gets warm so I'm thinking this one still is a little bit on the defective side so I wonder what I have that's close to that. I put one of the 2N2431s in there. It does the same thing. It gets slightly warm and uh, this thing is confusing. Well, this video is going to end on a very confusing note because I am really starting to think that there's either something wrong with those transistors. Like I said, I checked all the resistors and they're all close enough and sort of matched. I'm really thinking someone turned that bias pot up way too high because I put it all back together and it seems to work much better. These transistors like a lot of bias on them. They like they like the thing to idle along at about, well it's idling at about 30 milliamps now. They like it to idle along at about 50 milliamps. But these transistors, the original ones, work much better. Uh, I just turned that pot down about a quarter turn. So I'm thinking maybe someone went screwdriver happy in this. There are, well, we know the transistor was missing, and there are a lot of other screws missing uh, in here. There were so, yeah, I'm thinking this was a, was this supposed to have a shield over it? that was removed? Is that what these tabs, these tabs are for? Was this supposed to have a shield can over the top of it that somebody took off? There might be something missing there. I got the face plate out. I got the face plate. I gotta, I gotta glue it back on. Is the place for that 
Uh, we'll be putting this and all of our... 0.9 F. Go to the end, on the spot. You know me, Cardi B. Popping on the top. If I hit it one time, I'm a piper. If I hit it two times, then I like a... The original transistors have a lot more power, too. Way more power with the original transistors. It ain't safe, it ain't safe. Because you got to have a lot of, lot of power with your for your Cardi B. Get your jam on. and develop symptoms upon their return. The person was vaccinated and so far has suffered only mild symptoms. Colfax says people should expect other Omicron variant cases in the days ahead. I'm Stephen Portnoy at the White House. We knew that it was just a matter of time. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the president's top medical advisor, told reporters here that Americans should continue getting vaccinated and boosted. And all the other things... Of course! Getting your children vaccinated, masking in indoor congregate settings. Fauci says the first case, a mild breakthrough infection of a person who arrived from South Africa, does not give doctors much to go on. Drug maker Moderna... You're all suspect. The species... He did it. Wonder if someone screwed with the IF transformers. Cuando necesitas potencia, chinta yo. Esta audiencia. Don't see me lloré, yo quiero. I'm attorney Darren Kavanoki from 1 800 No Cuffs. Can you do? 긍정적인 마인드로 바꿉시다. 안녕하세요. 박수고. 아. 자 이렇게 주는 말을 하지 않겠습니다. I'm not even going to try that. Trying to see if I can get uh, WW on five megahertz. Doesn't sound like it's there. Yeah, it shouldn't be radically different levels of noise. Someone tweak. It's been running for a good three or four hours. I'm going to just call it good. We'll try it in a future uh, rural test, but I'll leave it with this. Well, the video got nailed for the Frank Sinatra Christmas song, so I had to take it down. Uh, Content ID picked that up, and I'll cut as much of that out as I can and see if I can get it through. That's very common with these radio repair videos when you're tuning around on the dial. That Content ID picks it up. And Content ID is not a copyright strike. Content ID simply makes it so that the ad revenue from the commercials goes to Google and maybe the artist uh, that got ID'd. But anyway, I decided today is the next day, tomorrow was yesterday. I am going to pop silicons in here and see what happens. I just happened to run across these. These are uh, 2SA496. 2N3906. Both of these are PNP. These are like a 1 amp medium power amplifier. These are 200 milliamp 
general purpose PNP transistors. I'm going to just pop them in there and we'll see if we can dial the bias in with that pot. All right, we have our silicon transistors installed. And I got to say, with the markings on the board and this little guy here, it sure makes getting the leads right. And we're powered up. Uh, we're right at 20 milliamps with no sound. I mean no sound at all. We have a cracked something here. Seems like seems like something is not making contact. Okay, let me see what cracked. So the same thing where it wants a ton of bias. Yeah, but look at the standby current. Yeah. Seems to be happiest right around 60 milliamps. Oh, that's where it sounds best. What I've done is remove the two, these two, right here. Let's say 560, they were actually 470s. And I'm going to start at 470, I'm going to play with it, and let's see what happens. Okay, we're at 50 milliamps, I'm going to go down now. We'll go down to uh, 300. Actually, you don't see much difference there. I went down to 50, 47, and now it, it needs even more base bias current, so I think I'm going the wrong way. Now it sounds best at 100 milliamps. Okay, now I'm up at 1,000 ohms, and it sounds better, and my current is going down. So what I'm doing is I'm switching the resistors and then playing with the bias and listening for a difference. And I know I should be using a scope and whatever, but uh, I'm going to just go this way. So I'm going to play around around a thousand and see what my best is. If I didn't have two of them, I'd be using pots. Okay, I've got the signal generator fed in. I'm looking at the output on the scope and this sucker will drive some power, man. Starts to clip at 5.4 volts. That's a lot. That's a lot of power for one of these radios. Yeah, it's clipping there. Let's see. Five point four volts. It starts to clip. That's loud. That's like deafeningly loud. But I'm going to play with the bias here. If I turn the bias down, you can see the distortion. You can hear the distortion there. And the distortion, the bias seems like it wants to be varied. 
the glisten. See, that's least distortion. So as the volume goes up, it wants more bias. Seems like as a compromise, about 40 is the best with a thousand ohms. I tell you, regardless of what the scope says, if you just listen to it when I crank the bias up, I'm gonna crank the bias up. I mean, it doesn't like these transistors. These transistors are no good. I put the two 1K resistors on the bottom. So I got it biased at about 42 milliamps idle and that's not quite enough. Sometimes on this channel I should just make stuff up. I should just say, yeah, I converted it to silicon. I changed the two emitter resistors from 470 to 1000 and adjusted the bias pot and it's working awesome. And it should just blow some smoke and, you know, most people would never know, but the honest truth is, is it doesn't quite like those silicon transistors. I'm kind of done spending time on this. I could probably find some different audio output transistors and try those. These were just kind of a general purpose transistor and they, they don't really like this circuit that well. Um, and it, to me, I can, I can hear a tiny bit of distortion or lack of bias clipping, uh, but most people wouldn't. Miss a moment. It's Deborah Howell from my friends at Laser Eye Center. How do I learn? It has no lack of power and loudness, that's for sure. I mean, it it b is blaring loud. And the other good thing is none of the transistors get even slightly warm now. And when I do crank the bias up to where they do get warm, they get equally warm. So at least they're balanced, which the germaniums weren't even close to balanced. I mean, I guess as background music, you'd never notice the or listening to the news or KVAX or whatever, you'd never notice the, but I notice it. I can hear it. But I should just tell everybody it sounds great and uh, I cleaned the mud off and uh, filled, the, filled the tire up on the wheelbarrow and, and it's better than it was when it rolled off the assembly line. Larry being a Republican and this being about a repudiation of Trump and Larry's a white supremacist and all of that. Because when he was tried, the case that he's making right now, people laughed. We have seen since realignment and Prop 47, property crimes decline. It seems to me that there's deterrence when people are arrested for doing, well, breaking the law and are prosecuted. You know, 10 years ago, people didn't, in the middle of the day, just start stealing things off the shelves at CVS. Everyone I know who works in some kind of retail establishment has been hit recently. It's not like, well, there's this guy that knows this guy that knows this guy that told me. We're not talking about six degrees of separation here. Everyone in the state knows you're a pathological liar. Every time we open up the phones to shoplifting calls, it's full phones for the hour, including stories of guys that just walk into Target, take the TV off the shelf and walk out with it and nothing happens. We may have to do that tomorrow. So he, I mean, that's, ki that's kind of cool. Doing, well, breaking the law and are prosecuted. So we need arrests and we need prosecutions. We need people held to account. No one condones that behavior, quite the contrary. 
happening. It says we need prosecutions, but in the two most important counties in this state, you have prosecutors that refuse to do that. And in a attack Israel significance on the world stage. Thanks for being here with me. Your specifications, put it indoors or out. In Aldic Holmes' tree lot, you'll find more than 60 pre-lit trees featuring the fabled Newman trees, the finest available anywhere. Cuatro. Aquí. Days exploring. You know what? This is worth only $400. No one's even going to stop me. No. I have a son who works at Target. He says, Dad, we don't bother. Well, he should. A kudos to this reporter who actually tried to push. Made one more change to this, which is I changed the 100 uh ohm resistor to a 220 because you're looking at that's one transistor this is the other transistor the output transistors and this is the trim pot the bias trim pot well the bias trim pot was getting up to 100 degrees because i was having to turn it down so low that the resistor in series with it the divider was 100 ohms, so I went up to 220 there. That brought my current down about another 4 milliamps, so, and it brought the temperature of this thing down quite a bit. Um, but you can see both of the output transistors are about the same temperature. You can see the two output transistors and the, the pot are the hottest things here. There's a little heat right there, isn't there? Or is that a reflection? That might be a reflection. Anyway, I think we're pretty good here. It could be better, but I've got it about as good as I can.